unprecedented expertise in self-contained refrigeration has allowed us to pioneer award-winning technology with R290 for increased energy efficiency and lower impact on global warming. This is a general purpose guideline on best practices for your structural concepts display utilizing R290 condensing units. To identify that the cabinet you're working on is using R290 refrigerant, check the serial label. We recommend taking a photo of the serial label for future reference. You will also see that the condensing unit is labeled as R290 and that the process ports are marked in red. Service must be performed in an area that's free from sparks, open flames, hot surfaces, and in a well-ventilated area. An R290 placard must be placed in the work area before work can begin. Repairs that involve adding or removing refrigerant must be performed by an EPA 608 certified technician. Please review the full list of recommended tools prior to beginning work to ensure you have the correct tools on hand. To begin service of the condensing unit of an R290 unit, turn off the equipment and unplug it. Turn on the electronic leak detector and ensure that there's no combustible gas in the area before performing service. Turn on the fan and point it at the service area. We recommend an R290 approved fan. If the fan is not R290 approved, keep it 10 feet away from the service area. Pierce the process ports to vent R290 and attach the shutoff valves close to or on the piercing valves. Vent R290 refrigerant by attaching the hose to the vent. Vent slowly and crack the shutoff valve slightly to prevent creating an environment with enough propane to cause a thermal event. Please note, the electronic leak detector may go off during this time. If you must recover refrigerant, use an R290 approved recovery machine. Flush the system with nitrogen at 30 to 50 PSIG for a few minutes. Cut out the failed components using a tubing cutter. Keep system exposure to the environment to a minimum and replace the filter dryer, shown in blue. Braze the joints while purging with nitrogen to prevent oxidation on the inside of the system. Pressurize the system with nitrogen at 200 PSIG and check for leaks. Vacuum the system to below 500 microns and ensure the vacuum sustains for 10 minutes. Purge the hose before filling equipment to remove the possibility of contamination. Charge unit to the specified R290 amount specified on the serial label using a scale with a minimum of 2 gram resolution and the smallest hose lengths possible. Pinch off liquid and suction line process ports. Cut off piercing valves. Check for leaks and braze ends or use a hydrocarbon approved crimp on style cap. Lastly, turn on the unit and check operation. If you need additional assistance, we're here to help. Contact our technical support team for detailed support, troubleshooting, and more. Structural Concepts. Delivering fresh, always.